All right, so we are going to be getting into the actual calculations of how to assess our data to see if we can reject or not reject our hypothesis. So we are gonna be looking at one approach. There are multiple approaches. We are gonna be focusing on the p-value approach. Um, the reason I focus on the p-value approach, in case you are wondering, is because this is the approach that you are more likely to see in the real world. Most journal articles are going to throw a p-value at you and that's it. They are not going to throw anything at you related to any other of the approaches. So we're just gonna look at how to do the p-value approach to hypothesis testing. If you are interested in the other approach, which is called the critical value method, I am more than happy to show that to you um, individually, but I'm not going to have videos on it or show it to, or make it a requirement or anything like that, or show it to everyone. Um, I find it more confusing. And again, it's not a method that you're going to see in the real world ever. So, um, so in the p-value approach to a hypothesis test, we are going to compare the probability of the results from our sample to a level of significance alpha. Notice that alpha guy is the same symbol that we had for the type one error. If the results from our sample are less likely than alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. So we are looking at that probability of a type one error, that's what alpha is. And then if our sample results are smaller than that, then we reject the null hypothesis. So in other words, what we want to do is we want to look at what is the probability of our results if we assume the information we were originally presented with is true. If the probability from our results are too small based on this kind of cutoff value of alpha, then we say that the previous study must be inaccurate. Our results were too statistically small, the probability was too small for those old results to still be valid. So I have a fun rhyme that you can follow to help you remember when to reject. If P is low, reject HO. So if your p-value is lower than your alpha, that's when you are going to reject your null hypothesis. So to help you guys as you are going through this to remember the things that you need to do, I do have some steps that you can follow. Um, I recommend following these. Uh, we will use Excel as we go through these. So I'll show you how to do everything by hand, but then also in Excel and that'll help speed up this process and it kind of makes the steps a little more loose in that regard. Um, but the steps for the p-value method are to always give your null and alternative hypothesis first. That's a given that has to be done first. Then you're gonna calculate your test statistic, um, which is Z with this little zero next to it. So that's your test statistic. I'm just gonna write that down again. Statistic. Okay, I spelled it right. Um, and then you're gonna find the p-value for that test statistic. And as a note, the p-value is a probability. So if we remember our rules of probability, it must be between zero and one. So if you get a p-value and it's not between zero and one, then either it might be in scientific notation or something's wrong. And then the last thing is to give a conclusion, either reject or fail to reject. Um, you might also see this worded as do not reject. They're the same thing, fail to reject, do not reject. And then we're gonna write out an interpretation of what that means in the context of the problem. 
So this interpretation is in the context of the problem. And we want to be very detailed. Woo! Detailed. We should not have anything that says it. No it's in this interpretation. If you use the word it, I'm going to go, what is it? Okay. I want to be very detailed in these interpretations. So this is what we're going to do as we get into these things. Hopefully that it'll start to make more sense and you'll see it and it'll be a fun time. So let's go ahead and get into some examples. I'm going to do the examples by hand and in Excel in the same examples. So be ready for that. 